Hey guys, what's up? So take a look at this thing. It's game console. So uh, if you've been watching my uh, previous videos, you know that I work on a lot of stuff, and I'm actually an IT guy, and that's what I do for a living. But this is actually one of my current clients. He's actually a dentist. This came out of a dental office, and uh, he said it wasn't working. I have no clue what's actually happening with it. Obviously, it's out of order here, but. Uh, it looks like it plays the classic games, and uh, there's not even a label on it, so I don't know who makes it. So, But the doctor actually had mentioned this thing was on Raspberry Pi, and he's actually kind of a techie, so he mentioned Raspberry Pi, so that's... I'm familiar with Raspberry Pi, so I said I'd take a look at it, you know? So, um, like I said, I have no clue of how this thing... I'm going to plug it in, we'll see what happens, so... Like I said, I have no clue... Never even seen one of these before, so I just powered it on, or plug the power in. I mean, I don't know if there's even a power switch. Kind of a cool thing. Yeah, like I said, there's no name anywhere on what, what this thing is. So I put this on its side, and here's the bottom of it. There's a power cable coming out the bottom of it here, here so... Um, that's the back of it. A couple of screws here. So I'm going to take those screws off, and we'll look inside and see what's in this thing. It's a power cable. So I'm looking for power switch. I, I can't find one anywhere so far. Maybe when I get in there, I'll, I'll look at the power and see if I can figure out where the power switch is. Alright, that's a totally weird setup here. Take a look at this. <laughs> this is exactly how it looks when I, when I took it open. So I can see the Raspberry Pi in there. I know he had mentioned that. And then this is obviously a, some sort of AC adapter. You have PS2 port. PS2 and... Looks like it's going in the Raspberry Pi. And go into the slot right there. Yeah, that's odd. I don't know. This is definitely. Is this homemade or is this actually how it came from the factory? Yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. It looks like just a regular monitor up there. Um, yeah, I don't think he would have made this thing. Probably bought it somewhere. But that that seems a pretty pretty low ball, kind of unprofessional to have it like this. So. Alright, that's just weird, weird, weird. Okay. Alright, this is a super weird setup there. So, you can see the HDMI cable right there. And it comes back up. It feeds the monitor up there. And it's actually HDMI cable. And there's also some speakers up there. So if you look at the top, I don't know if there's an LED strip that I see up there. Um, wow, this whole thing is... But there is some speakers up there, and that's what's actually feeding it. So the HDMI of the Raspberry Pi is feeding the uh, speakers and the, the monitor up there. And I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out. But yeah, it's weird how th this looks so lowball that they actually put it together like this. Like they didn't have their own special PCB to do all this stuff. It's all adapted to make this thing work. So that's that's super super I don't know crazy. Alright, so I plug it in, got the screen to power on. Now I gotta figure out if this Raspberry Pi is powering on. Looks like I have something. Should figure out what kind of what version of Raspberry Pi that is. So it looks like you have a couple of these components, these adapters. This I'm trying to figure out is this a serial adapter? Board. I mean is this the control of these buttons? Other wires aren't connected here, like random wires. But um, yeah, I'm not getting it on the screen. You know, the nothing's booting on the screen, so I need to see if this actual Raspberry Pi is booting up. And double check the cable. The okay, is that a DVI? Yeah, it's not HDMI. It's actually DVI. All right, so this looks like a Raspberry Two board here. Can't tell for sure. Yeah, I'm guessing this is either two or one. I'll go back and look. And looks like they have some sort of wireless key. That's a. Oh, it looks like it's a flash drive, 16 gig flash drive. I'm wondering if the actual uh, boot flash. 
So right now I'm not getting any sort of video on this thing, so. This should have auto detected, so. It's actually already on the DVI cable, so that's, that's, that's where it's supposed to be. Alright, good thing I have extra Raspberry Pis, so. Alright. Alright, so I learned a little bit more about this thing. I think it's based on a thing called RetroPie, which is like a Raspberry Pi distribution with all these classic arcade games on it. But so right now I need to figure out why I'm not getting video on the Raspberry Pi. So I reset it and uh, I try my different I have a different Raspberry Pi. So this is a Raspberry Pi model B 1.2. Alright. Alright, so I threw my Octoprint SD card in there. Uh, it is actually it's a Raspberry Pi 3. Looking at it closer, and it actually worked, and I got a video. So I know the Raspberry Pi 3 is fine, the unit's fine, so uh, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna try to reload the OS, the or at least look on the SD card what was on there and see if it's not booting, and uh, reload it. <laughs> 